Hey, what's up, these guys? Chemistry. Um, I know it's been a really tough week for us and a really trying week. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for being so strong during these times and being so open in terms of how you guys feel. And if you guys need any supports, um, just know that myself, our 10th grade teachers, our counselors, our school are here for you guys. Um, I just want to say thank you again for being you. Um, and thank you for being such a great community during this tough week, y'all. Um, to get started for today, uh, I need some coffee, but I forgot where I put it. Just kidding, you guys know where it is. Let's go. Let's go. It's in the coffee glow. Come on now. All right. Um, for today, um, I heard a lot of need uh, for us to kind of understand electron configuration. Um, so hopefully this video puts this in a lot um, more simple terms and makes it so that you guys understand why we use it um, and kind of how we develop these electron configurations. Awesome. Um, for our example, we're going to start with the element neon. Okay. Now neon, N-E, is element number 10 on the periodic table, which means it has 10 total protons and an atomic number of 10. Now, a neutral atom of neon is also going to have 10 total electrons. Now it's these 10 total electrons that we're going to look at. Remember, that has 10 positively charged protons. It needs 10 total negative electrons for this atom to be neutral. Now these 10 electrons, they have to exist somewhere in the atom, right? And we've talked before about where these electrons exist in an atom. They exist in these well-defined orbitals and energy levels um, around the nucleus um, of our atom, okay? So we want to figure out a spot or these places where these 10 electrons exist in, okay? Our first energy level, okay? We annotate with a 1, okay? Or we note with a 1. We know that in the first energy level, we have a S orbital shape, and we know that the s orbital can hold two total electrons, 1s2, okay? Now, when we go into the next energy level, well, that's our second energy level, and we know using our periodic table or periodic chart that the second energy level has two types of orbital. The first orbital is the once again, S orbital, that can hold two total electrons. All S orbitals can only hold two electrons max. Doesn't matter if it's 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, etc. All S orbitals can only hold two electrons. Now, when we jump across the periodic table to get to the P block, so once we hit boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, and neon, in the second energy level, there's now the orbital P, the P orbital. Now, right now, I have a total of four electrons in my 1s and 2s, which means I have six more electrons to assign. In the P orbital to neon, there are going to be six total electrons that exist in that 2p orbital. How can I check if this is correct? Well. I know that a neutral atom of neon has 10 electrons. We said that by adding up all these superscripts, you get the total number of electrons. Two plus two is four, plus six is 10 electrons. And we have two electrons in the 1s, two electrons in the 2s, six electrons in the 2p. And if we had an element past neon, we would just drop a line on the periodic table to the third row. We would go 3s, 3p. If we had an element past that, we'd just drop a line again, 4s, and we'll talk about the d orbital today. 
Um, thank you so much. And if you guys have any questions, we'll have a little bit of time to show those out here in Mr. Salar's Google Meet. Thank you and have a wonderful day.